Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So we have finally got spring here in North Dakota. It has been such a long, cold winter. It is so great to get outside. I have spent the last few days outside and I wanted to share with you what I have been up to. So let's get this video started. So I have to trim back these prairie grasses here. I have two of them. And then this was a purple fountain grass. And then these three little bushes were lavender. I had three the previous year and one came back. So I'm hoping if I just trim them, uh, they'll come back again this year. They are not supposed to, being that we are in a zone four, ooh, A or B, I'm not quite sure, but zone four. And then, oh my gosh, I can't believe, look at this. My tulips. I did not think I would see these this year. <laughs> Not all of them are back because, you know, we had such an awful long winter, but there they are. Ah, I'm so excited. So I got to trim this back today. It is beautiful out right now. I cannot believe how nice it is. I should check my phone and see what the temperature is. Okay, it is 57 degrees out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And it's like a little after nine o'clock in the morning. So this morning glory here, that was voluntary last year. I planted it the year before, it came back last year. I don't want it here. I actually want to plant um, like a little mini hydrangea tree here or something ornamental so it doesn't get too big. And then it'll just be placed in between those two windows. Um, on the weekend, Josh hooked up the hose, so he did end up hosing off the front porch for me. So that is one less thing I have to do. He did take away my ferns, so I just have to get rid of them. And then I still have my lemongrass to get out of that container. So I'll just kind of give this a good sweep. I'm going to wash that black bench off, get rid of those pots. And then this bench. So... These benches, this black one, and then this one, the kids make in high school as, along with an Anirandak chair. I think I'm saying that correctly. So my oldest daughter, Donna, made this one. She never stained it or painted it. So I think I am going to paint it black. Um, our middle daughter, Lily, did that one um, last year. And then Josie is actually in the, oh no, she did get hers done. She painted hers white. So anyways, I'm not sure where this one's going to go, but I definitely want to paint it black because we do have the black accents on the front porch. And now I'm just going to take you around and show you all the work I have to do today. So this matted mess is my lamb's ear. And you can see it's already starting to come up. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, there's some more babies, so I got to take care of this mess, uh, get that pot done. I don't know. I think I'm going to use these little pots. This one and this one for my tomato plants. This is a mum. <laughs> Can't really tell with the mulch. <laughs> and then all of these along the border here are Arizona plants. These right here are phlox, so I'm going to cut those back today as well. Oh, and look, we have some baby flocks coming. And I believe these are pinks, different shades of pinks and purples. This, I can't remember what it was last year. Um, I'm going to trim these back and then because some of these blooms, maybe not this one, let me find one that is decent. Oh, here's one. Check that guy out. That thing is huge. <laughs> so cut these back so I get some pretty blooms this year. This is another mum. It is, I don't know, it is invasive, I think. <laughs> it just, I had it cut back last year and it just spread like crazy. And then this was where I had a lot of annuals, so just like um, super tunias. Here's another crazy giant mum. I do have some daisies. 
Um, there was some daisies here and here. And then I can't remember the name of these. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I still can't think of it. And then I have some salvias. I think these were fuchsias, like bright pinks. I have some more lambs here down here. These were babies last year and they're coming back. So happy to see that. And then over in this spot, I just had a bunch of annual flowers. And I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of make this spot um, where I have my tomatoes and just a few little garden things since I'm really leaning towards not doing a vegetable garden this year. I don't know. And then, let's see, spireas. I have to trim those back. My boxwoods are looking kind of furry, but I'm not gonna trim them back till it gets a little warmer out. I don't want to stunt their growth. And then on the north side of the house, I have all of my hostas. So they, they usually are kind of late bloomers. They don't usually pop up until June. We finally got some window well covers so we don't have to crawl down in there when frogs and squirrels get down in there and get stuck. And again, more pastas. And I think what I want to do this year and where this corner is, sorry for the wind, it wasn't supposed to be windy today. I'm going to widen this and then have it be like a a circle and then over here I think I'll keep this just the way it is for right now because next year we'll be adding a deck and a patio off the back of the house so I'll mess with the landscaping more at that time and then these were all annual so those have to be pulled and then this is my hardy geraniums these are purple and these come back every single year which i love and then down there was annuals again So I am just using a boat seat, you know, like those little seats you put in the boats um, for my knee pad or to sit on, obviously. Um, I find it much more comfortable than the actual gardening knee pad. So yeah, that's why I'm using that. So I'm just cleaning up this lavender. I'm hoping it comes back. If it does not, not a big deal. I will just plant some more in place of these. And I think I'm gonna continue with the lavender plants on the inside of the border of the patio they kind of keep mosquitoes away and then also i will plant some herbs that keep mosquitoes away like the lemongrass i had up there and some rosemary and off the top of my head i can't remember the other ones but i do like to do that because we do live by the river so if we have like wet summers the mosquitoes are really really bad here the last couple years we've had drier years so it's been a lot nicer and we're not you know attacked the second we walk outside so i don't know what kind of summer is in store for us this year but i just like to prepare anyways <laughs> now trimming these prairie grasses holy moly this took forever and there's still a lot in the the front bed that you'll see that i'm just gonna rake up along with the red mulch i have decided i'm going to take the red mulch out I have to lay down some landscape fabric in some areas of this garden bed and, and refresh it I'm just gonna use the brown mulch and match the circle garden just so everything's kind of more cohesive and I feel like it's easier to blend the brown mulch with the new brown mulch with the old stuff from the previous year Is 
looking much better. Now that the tulips are uncovered, they should be able to breathe and grow. Hopefully they bloom. I don't know if they will. It might be too late in the season. But yes, so now the prairie grass has a fresh haircut ready for the new growth. And this I have to dig up, which I'll do another day. And then I'm probably gonna plant purple fountain grass there again because I love it there. It's beautiful when you're looking out the windows. So next, I think I'm going to, you know what, no. I think next I'm gonna go over and trim the hydrangeas so I can have them bloom this year. Otherwise, you know, these are the ones that bloom on new wood. So I think there's like a strawberry vanilla um, and then an incredible hydrangea, one white one, one pink one, I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I'm gonna go do that quick and get that done and out of the way. Okay, so I gave this spirea a haircut and I'm not sure it is enough of a haircut because <laughs> that one doesn't look much bigger and I kind of, I've never trimmed these guys up, so I'm not sure how far back I can take them. Maybe I will look it up online to see, just so I'm not damaging it or stunting it. But yeah, they're definitely overgrown by how much. I'm not sure yet. All right, so I got the pruning done in the circle garden. This lamb's ear over here is doing fabulous coming making a comeback this one over here not so much there's a few little ones so we'll see i might have to replace this these two over here and then i got rid of the huge giant mum so you can see there's new ones sprouting up i cut down all the flocks and then i got all the Arizona plants cut back, ready for new growth as well. Here's another mom. It's doing pretty good. Now that they're uncovered, they should really put on some growth. I got all the hydrangeas cut. Now I know I can cut them back by like a third, but I decided not to just because it's so late. In the spring I wanted them to keep putting on height so I just cut a, the tops off and then my ginormous mum here Wow I cleaned it up as best I could but you can see it is starting to come back but I don't mind if this one doesn't come back fully because it was humongous I have to find a rake to get all these dead leaves up Here's another giant mum. And then all these leaves need to be raked. They're just absolutely matted down and wet underneath. You can kind of see. It's just mushy and disgusting. So then I got the um, salvias done. So there's also some new growth. Super happy that these are coming back. This one I don't see any growth yet. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do. See that right there. And then this lamb's ear is doing really good. These, I am not quite sure what they were. I think they're just annuals, so I'm gonna yank them out. I got all this cut back and the spireas are looking better. Again, I could have cut them down more, but I decided not to just because they are starting to bud, and I didn't want to stunt them. I know you're not supposed to prune these once they're budding, but I did. <laughs> okay, so I got all the hostas 
cut back we did a little bit of grass and some weeds this is looking so much better and I even found some of the hostas. Let me find them. Uh, well, I'll find... One of them had some new growth coming already. We got some fingers. Look at that. Some new growth. Yay. Oh, they're so pretty here. So I got rid of all these. I can't remember what I had here. I didn't really take pictures last year. I must not have been that proud of it. <laughs> and then these I thinned out. And those were geraniums. So those were just annuals. And then I had, I can't remember what I had here. I know what they look like. I'll try and insert a picture, but I can't remember their name. But anyways, I'm going to do something different here. So, yeah. That is all done. Ready for planting. I just have to put down some preen to help with the weed control. And that's it. So, yeah. All done feels so good to have it done. It took two full days to do this <laughs> and I haven't even touched my vegetable garden but I will show you that on a different video. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!